All right, guys, today we're going to be testing out the unpoppable soccer ball. Now, naturally, of course, if you watch this channel for a while, when something claims that it does something, such as being unpoppable, then I have to do my best to try to pop it. That's just kind of the way it goes. So we're going to be comparing the unpoppable soccer ball to a just regular soccer ball. I didn't, whenever I ordered this, I didn't know that soccer balls came in different sizes. I thought that a soccer ball was just a soccer ball. So this is a size four and this is a size five. So this is just a little bit bigger, but I don't feel like that should really affect our test that much, especially since soccer skill is literally below zero. So I don't think it's gonna have that much of an effect. The first thing I noticed with the, between these two soccer balls is that this, a normal soccer ball has like a, like a shiny type of finish that kind of has almost like a little bit of a grip to it. Like I can like palm it and pick it up really easy. Whereas this one, even though this ball is smaller, it's like, it's not impossible for me to pick up, but it, it's way more like, it's way more slick. Like it's way harder to get like a really like good grip on it. So I don't know how it's gonna affect it being like kicked or anything. Also the way this ball kind of works is it has this like circle here that acts kind of like a vent and it's made out of some like, I'm assuming some type of like rigid like foam and then whenever you press down on it, the air will vent out of that, the air will leave out of there. Let me do it this way. All the air will escape and then the air can come back and it can reinflate itself. Supposedly unpoppable. And of course a regular soccer ball does not have that. You have to pop it back up. Put this thing through some tests and see how it compares and see how durable it is compared to a regular soccer ball. All right, so the, first, the most important thing about a soccer ball is obviously gonna be the bounce. So let's see how they bounce compared to each other. I mean, that's, that's pretty dead even. Since this ball is bigger, I would think this one would bounce a little bit higher. Let's go all the way up here. No, the bounce is exactly the same. Let's kick them around a little bit. I guess just tell you what I feel since I'm completely unbiased and I have no soccer experience. I'll tell you how, which one feels better and how they feel, I guess. So I'm just gonna kick them against this wall. I'm gonna try not to bust out my window and <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'll tell you how they feel. Feel free to make fun of my form because I don't know what I'm doing. It was just like a soccer ball from when I was a kid. Yeah, let's not bust out the window over there. I mean, just, just from that little bit, what I can tell you is that um, this one feels a little odd. It feels like a, just a little bit stiffer, which it, it probably is just a little bit stiffer. But other than that, it feels exactly the same, just maybe like 20% stiffer whenever I kick it. It doesn't have quite as much give as the regular soccer ball, but other than that, it feels normal. All right, so what about whenever the inevitable happens? You're outside playing soccer with your nice pumped up soccer ball and you get a nail or a screw inside of it. The regular soccer ball, I have a screw. Let's go ahead, let's go, let's go right here. I think we all know what's going to happen. Put that right there. Hmm. I expected there to be a lot of air that, that would get leaked out. Oh. There we go. So this is going to be a very, very sad soccer ball here in a second. It's already gotten very sad. Sad soccer ball. So what's gonna happen to our unpoppable soccer ball? Let's do the same thing. Let's go, oh, roughly here. All the way in. All right, is there gonna be air? No, no air. No air leaking whatsoever, actually. So both soccer balls have an equal size hole. Now, this isn't the best place to check the bounce, but you can see that this one, oh, this one's like, there's like something like loose inside of this one. So, you can see this one 
is the exact same and this one is now has something loose inside of it and it's very very soft so let's uh let's kick these around and uh see what the differences are so i have a strong feeling that i'm probably only going to need about one kick to figure this out why was that actually not that bad and it didn't feel that different What? Okay, that one feels exactly the same. You can kind of feel the extra like softness whenever you kick it, but to be honest, it's really not that bad for being a completely flat soccer ball. What I expected was whenever I would kick it that it would just like dent in and then the air would leak out and then it would just stay like dented in. But that's actually not the case. It kind of keeps its shape pretty well and it, it kicks pretty good. I'm actually kind of impressed. But so far, even though I am kind of impressed um, with, with, with this one, this one is still obviously very flat from one hole. And then this one is obviously the exact same and the performance is literally the exact same, no difference whatsoever. So this one's still doing good. So, this soccer ball was completely unfazed whenever there was just one hole in it, right there. But what happens whenever you kick the soccer ball into a board that is just full of nails? And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes in it. What happens then? So, let's see. All right, we're gonna start off with the regular soccer ball first. This is a fresh one. This one is not the one that was punctured. And I'm gonna say that it's probably gonna take me an embarrassingly large amount of tries to hit that thing <laughs> with the soccer balls. I'm gonna put it like right there. Maybe that'll give me like the best chance. That's why I didn't play soccer. It did hit it right there, but the air didn't come out of it and it didn't puncture it. So try again. It seems like I did hit it again, once on this side, and once on this side, and the ball's still inflated. So this ball is way tougher than what I thought. Okay, after however many misses that was, you can hear it. I finally got one. One of them punctured it. So in a few seconds, this ball will be flat, just like the other ones, but, I mean, I hit it at least at least three times before it punctured. So this ball is actually pretty tough. So let's move on to the other one. Can't wait to see how many misses I get with this one. Oh, I definitely hit that time. But it didn't do anything. All right, I've made the executive decision since I really, really, really suck at soccer. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it like a dodgeball because my soccer skills suck, and as you just saw, I missed like a million times. Oh, that was good. Wow, almost all the nails. You can see they all landed here, inside of the circle. If you look up close, you can see this thing has just been hit all over the place. All over there. Well, you can see all those little spots where all the nails stuck in, where all, where all the nails poked. And it's still good as new. Still bounces just fine. So I think we're gonna have to <laughs> step it up to some extreme measures. All right, so next, let's just go ahead, stab it with a knife. <laughs> the little tiny holes don't really do anything. So let's go here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's definitely in there. Now, I guarantee you that I can throw this off of this knife and I bet that it's still gonna bounce just like it would normally. You can see right there, that's where the knife went in. And it's gonna be completely unfazed. Still just as bouncy as it was right out of the box. Guess it's time to step it up again. So it's time to break out the katana 
and let's stab it completely through the ball and see if that does anything. <laughs> Look at that. That is the katana completely stabbed through the soccer ball. And then let's see if <laughs> let's see if this has affected the way that it bounces and the way that it operates. All right, we'll do the same thing as the knife. Maybe not. Well, it came off of there. All right, not only did it come off of there, it also kind of slid it open more. And you can see now we have a giant cut inside the ball, but bounces the same. It's literally the exact same ball. So, so far, even regardless of having this giant slit inside of it, it still feels and plays like the exact same ball that it was whenever it was brand new. So, I think we're gonna have to step it up. So after all of the torture that we've put this thing through, as you guys see, it still works good as new. So we're gonna have to take it to an extreme. And what I'm gonna do is cut this thing in half and then glue it back together and then we'll see how it works and see how see it, how it holds up even after all that. But before we cut that one in half, if you remember this one, it has something inside of it that's like loose. I wanna cut this one open and see what that is and see what's loose in there. All right, let's go. Let's uh, start with one of the threads. Is there more air in there? in here. Oh. Let's see if I can rip this thing. That's actually not surprising. So the only thing that's in here, the thing that's making all that noise, is like a it's like a bladder, like an inner tube for a tire. That's a uh, I don't know what else I expected, but okay, that's cool. So let's get to cutting this one in half. I'm gonna make a mark uh, right here. That way I can line it back up whenever I glue it back together. And we're just gonna go where one of the stab wounds already is and just keep cutting. Oh, we're almost there. All right, all right, right there. All right, now we are cut in half. I don't know what I expected to be in here. It smells really, uh, it actually smells good inside of here. I don't know what that smell is. It almost smells like minty, like a little bit of a, like a mint air freshener. So you can see here, you can see the back side of that valve. It just kind of lets air in and out. Look how thick this is. This is probably, I don't know, probably half inch thick or so. So that that's what gives it so much, uh, so much rigidity and why it can, like self inflate and not really be affected by the um, anything like poking through it or anything. So I just noticed that as you can see here, the inside of the ball has a, the print of a basketball for some reason. So I don't know if they're like using a basketball to like make the mold for this or something, but that's a hundred percent the lines for a and the, it even has a little dimpling from a basketball. So, I don't know why that's there, but it's kind of cool. So now we gotta get our favorite glue, our flex glue. I really, I, I truly, I honestly believe that I'm gonna like, glue this thing back together and then it's probably gonna perform the exact same way that it did. All right, that was easy. If I cannot mess this up, I'm gonna make the two sides. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna touch it. We'll come back in like 24, 48 hours, and then we'll see how it performs. All right, so it's been about the. Uh, 
I think like three or four days since I glued this thing together. So it's glued together. It looks good. Let's take it outside, see how it does. Just like before, let's see if it has retained its bounciness. No way. <laughs> even after even after being cut in half and glued back together, it still is the exact same. Okay, so let's kick it around and see see how it does. Let's see if it's the same. It literally feels the exact same. Let me compare it side by side just to make sure. Yeah, literally feels the exact same. If I didn't see that this line was here, I would have never known that this thing had been stabbed a million times with nails, cut in half and glued back together. So now I'm just gonna kinda kick it as hard as I can and just see this is really just a test to see if the glue is going to stay. So far, so good. Still good as new. All right, so after all that, is this soccer ball unpoppable? Yes. I think it's fair to say that this soccer ball is completely unpoppable. And not only that, I think I also have to say that this soccer ball is probably the best soccer ball made. I would say for at least as far as durability is concerned because not only was it stabbed like who knows how many times with different nails i put a screw in it um stabbed it with a knife multiple times shoved them a sword all the way through it and then cut it in half and then glued it back together and then here we are still with a perfectly working soccer ball that works exactly the way it did right out of the box and it has the same bounciness and feel as a regular soccer ball, even though it's been cut in half, glued back together, stabbed a million times. So the soccer ball is the real deal. It's everything that it claims to be. And if you need a durable soccer ball, I would highly recommend this one. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.